Hello there, Blueberry Muffin. So the question is, has Hex bottom and has Chainlink bottomed? We would like to know. What I like to do sometimes is I like to change the candle scheme. If you go up the top of trading view, you see these candles, I like to put Heikanashi sometimes. Now, the normal candles will show you normal Japanese candles, but the Heikanashi, otherwise known as Heikanashi, these candles, what they do is they show you the average of the open, high, low, close, and you just get to see the flow of the candles. You know, red tends to stay red, green tends to stay green. And sometimes you can use them for guessing a turnaround, and the higher the time frame, the better. So I wanted to show you something on Hex, right? So this is the Hex full lifetime chart. And like we have never, ever remotely experienced what we've experienced right now. Same thing for many coins. So I hope you got a straight back for this and you're wearing your fluffy slippers. So this is a weekly chart. And what I did was you see here, you see this box here, there were 10 red weekly candles, 10. And then we popped up. That's why I have this 10 here. Then in the, this was the lunar capitulation and the fake pulse chain launch. This was also 10. We had another 10. I've marked it here for you. Yes, you are a blueberry muffin. You are yummy. And you are scrumptious. What about this one here now? It is another 10. This is a the silver news on the, the pulse chain launch, okay, which has sent us down. And yes, it's no, it's ugly, but yeah, it sent us down 99%. I mean, it's 98.71, 99%. This is inexcusable. Really. <laughs> Store of value ain't going down 99% and staying down, right? So we've had 10 red weekly candles again for the third time. So we thought that maybe this one down here was going to be the end of the bear, but actually wasn't. So now we've had 10 again. I mean, you're just guessing here, right? This is EHEX. You are guessing. There are no guarantees, but we've just had another 10. So is there any hope? I mean, everybody in here, you're most likely already in. I don't know many people who would be believers who are like, oh, I'm buying down here. I'm going all in because most likely you're all in already for the PHEX copy and all the other bells and whistles that unfortunately have obliterated holders. You know, it's also interesting, and this is just facts, man. We have to go to the facts. So if you go from hex start to the very top, it went up for about 637 days, right? So 637, you, you can do, you can check the date here, the date and the price, the, the date range, right? So 637 days, and then what I can do is do another time from that top and come down to now, and you will see, oh, it is 637 days. Now, obviously, next week's going to be red, red, red down. But and what I'm doing is I'm showing you Hex has now officially been going down longer than it's been going up. It's So now you can like statistically say Hex has been going down for most of its lifetime. So I understand, you know, this might be triggering, but this is just the reality of crypto and markets and what we're looking at right now. So, yes, this is an asset that goes down longer, then it goes up. You're going to have to evaluate how you do your staking ladders from now on. If you decide to stake, how long you stake, what perspective are you now going to have on this? This is this is not a good look. Now, when you when I hear this, when I, well, sorry, when you hear this, I know there's a lot of people here. Welcome, welcome. Like, subscribe, all button and all, please. When I put this information to you, this does not mean, okay, let's just get out. It doesn't mean that. What I'm looking for here is just some sign that, hey, is the pain pushed to everybody's limits? And to be honest, man, at minus 95%, I thought it was done. I thought, yeah, minus 95% all the way down here, hit minus 96%. We came back up, pulse chain launch. And for this to come do here, this is the kicker. So if so, the new people who, who they don't know the information, they will just look at the EHEX chart. This is all they're printing out. But what they don't know is that on the Pulse Chain launch, the truth is that on the Pulse Chain launch around here, the Richard Hart ecosystem coins diluted value away from Hex. So Pulse Chain won overwhelmingly. Pulse X took a bit from Hex, but it didn't take as much as Pulse Chain. And Hex itself has had big net outflows. So this is what's happened in the past. And remember, because you're a baby doll baby cake and you're a blueberry muffin pie, 
I here, I'm here to invest for the future. This is what I'm going to do. If you're crying and you're upset, that's okay. I'm just, I can just tell you what I'm doing. I'm DCA buying more. I don't care what e hex ratio you throw at me. What are the what what all this information you throw? I don't care. My plan doesn't change because the price goes super duper duper cheap. It does not change okay? because I know volatility. And now you can see with this God whale, you know, unfortunate situation giving away eight hundred million hex. Why does one person have to dictate the fundamentals of everything going forward? It doesn't. It has nothing to do with the fundamentals. There are people still coming in. I know as dire as it looks. So. I'm not saying go all in or anything, but hey, I like this situation. I'm gonna keep buying. Like, it's just it's telling me, hey man, this is the third time now, the third series of ten red weekly candles in a row. I mean, if you look at the hex, this is the hex bull market part. We've just never seen anything like this, you know. I also decide to do it for Chainlink. Now, Chainlink has been much stronger than hex. I want you to see, by the way, every altcoin. So Chainlink is just literally a function of Ethereum, just like every most other altcoins. Most other altcoins. Um, they're all done the same pattern, right? They're all down between 95, 90 to 97%. Just depends on the altcoin, okay, and how high it went up. So Chainlink all the way down to here has been going down even longer. Chainlink's been going down now for 763 days. It's going to be even more. So, you know, we're, we're still going to be in this crappy zone till like, man, it could be like the end of the year, which would be like a 1,000 days going down against USD. So that's... That's an unfortunate situation of it. Now, you can't see any patterns with counting the colors here on Chainlink, but this is where we play around. We just get to see, is there anything you can count here? So what I did was I just put it on a monthly scale, and this is the dire situation. 17 red monthly candles I counted. Like, wow, 17. That means 17 months ever since that top. My God, like you haven't, you haven't had that many times. I mean, it's been... If you check your 25 bars, wow, 17 out of 25, a deep red. And look at this. You can barely even count these as green. These two ones can even count them really as green. Like they're so tiny green. You might as well make it 19. But hey, it is what it is. Now, when you see this information, if you're already in, you are out of your bullets, that's completely fine. I believe you would have you've done the right thing. I've done the right thing. You don't know that this was going to happen. It could have been easily likely that Chainlink, instead of being here, it could have been like 14 bucks by now. It could have, right? And then that's it. We can't get these prices anymore. So I like it that it's down here. But, you know, it's not even as deep as, as Hex. I want you to see, right, Hex is, Hex is real amount that it's down. So I'm going to be intellectually honest and say, hey, E-Hex was P-Hex. It's down about to 96, 97% around here. So if, if Chainlink was down... As much as hex, it would be about here a dollar ninety below two dollars. That's a long way out of here. Like it, that's so. If it was to match it here, so it would be all the way down here. So you can see that's why I'm DCAing just hex. I'm like, wow, look at the discount I'm getting on something with even more thin liquidity. By the way, I own both. I own both. That's okay. I'm just talking about extra bullets coming in. If you have any, if you don't know what to do, just get both. Who knows, right? Now, obviously, you've got more coins to collect in the Richard Hart ecosystem, but obviously, they're more correlated. Now, I have the Pulse Chain chart here. We can't gather any information from these because we have no historical data. All I can go off is what I've done right now. I'll just quickly change it to the normal candles, and I'm going to put it on a weekly chart. All I know is in the hex beginning, the launch, it did three red weekly candles. So this has done one, these little tiny dodgy green one, and then a red it may as well be three, but hey, uh, would you want to be willing to like bet against this? That's why you don't do the, any of these things on leverage, okay? So what you can do here is you just you take a long-term view and you say, hey, maybe it's repeating, maybe it's not. You can see here, see down here right, with with hex. These are the if I change it to this is the hex beginning, by the way. I'm gonna change it to the beginning. You can see hex did one, two, three red weekly candles. It stopped around here and it started recovering. Now, in my experience. Don't latch yourself onto the hopium and copium part just because if it takes longer than you expect, you can get mentally drained out. This is why I always, always, always talk about December 2025. I don't care about 2023. I don't even care about 2024. All right, look, look how far away I'm thinking. I'm thinking here, man. I'm thinking literally all the way out here. This is why like, I'm thinking 10 steps ahead. And by the way, this is a weekly chart. No one's looking at a weekly, friends. The biggest time frame most people look at is a daily. This is all they can compute. 
So look how far, like I can't, it won't even let me go out that far. So this is why, this is an advantage you have because you don't get locked in mentally to these little nuances that come and unfortunately destroy you mentally from the inside. So this is the reality of the situation we're looking at. I'm continuing to DCA. I don't care. So this is this is how you get tested as a man or as a strong woman, right? When prices go down, when prices go down, we when prices go down, people then believe that, hey, let's call the funeral. It's over. Let's all disappear. Let's like throw rocks at everybody. This is what they do. That's fine. That's fine. Because this happens on the way up too. It happens on the way up too. So I've used, used this information to tell me like, all right, all the non-believers are now throwing rocks and stones. They're trying to squash in everyone's necks. Hey, I like seeing that. I like seeing that. The people are still here. People are still here. So what can you do? Well, continue to DCA. But if you're out of bullets, you just got to chill out. You just got to chill out and wait. i just like you to remind you that even if prices go down and it's like super bad, it does not change the fundamentals. I did all these analysis before that the candles up and down left right they dictate our emotions in the short term but they do not have any impact on my pricing for the future the people are still there the networks are still growing crypto is still growing it's growing absolutely phenomenal it's the growth rates are still parabolic these little nuances and and um and experiences you go through they're going to shape you to hold for the next runs because believe me there's going to be a lot of people i already know right now <laughs> look i'm just telling you right now it, just in my experience the longer markets, okay, the longer these things stay down, all right, I know you can't see it now, but the better on the way up. You don't get these, see how chaining, for example, went up like this, see how chaining went up like this, like whoa, 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 and then sideways, and then, oh, I continued again, because we have had ultra despair, it increases the possibility, right, but doesn't guarantee, it increases the possibility that if and when it starts going up, it's not going to do like this, oh, let me get back in, right, to give you a chance to seal up here. It doesn't do that. It's going to do this just like this little thing and go, oh, 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 and then I'm going to just start coming back up and it's going to start doing that. That's basically what I, I call the stairway, stairway to heaven. And if you've done your research, you watch my videos because you're a baby doll, baby cake, blueberry pie, you'll notice that this is the similar pattern that Bitcoin did in the 2015 bear market. So do you think Hex and Chainlink are bottom? Do you think crypto is bottom? Doesn't really matter, friends. Bottoms are not made with these tiny little prices and stuff in it. Bottoms are made with a region of time. That's how you should be approaching these, all right? You can take your own approach, by the way, but I'm, I, I always put these big fat rectangles. I'm like, ah, whatever. We'll see where we are January, 2024. That's the best way. And you know what? You'll be very surprised how thin the liquidity is on the way up when you do get some friendship eventually. Tell mom and dad that, hey, we're still going to make it and you do love and appreciate them. Like, subscribe, or button, or catch the next one.